Hey guys, uh, Amp here, bringing you the second Affinity Photo tutorial, and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to change the eye color of someone in a photo. So the first thing I'm going to do mm. is uh, I'm actually going to uh, zoom in a little bit on this one right here. I'm going to zoom in on the eyes. It might look a little pixelated if you choose something with a little less pixels, but this will be fine. So you're going to come over here and select the elliptical marquee tool. And you're just going to come over here. And you can make a sort of rough selection. And kind of slide to move where you need to. And then to select the other eye, you're going to hit the control key on the keyboard. And come over and make the selection. And if you don't get it right, you can just kind of redo it. It doesn't need to be perfect, just a little rough one. But this is not going to do just yet. We're going to come up to the select uh, menu, come down to feather. It uh, depends on what uh, image you're using. But I'm going to do around 13 will do. And feather 13 pixels. And this is going to keep it from uh, ruining the edges of the eyes. And uh, so after you create this, you're going to go to the adjustments and you're going to go to hue saturation luminance or s h l s h s l whoops and you're going to come over to this panel this panel is going to come up and right here first thing you're going to do you're going to change the blend mode to color and this is going to keep uh, the color more natural and more i guess reflective but you can then take this hue sliding bar and change it to whatever color you want. I think I'm going to change it to something not natural S just to see how it will turn out. I'm going to go with a pink. You can bring the saturation down a little bit to make it more vivid. But after you do this, you're going to scroll down to uh, shadows and highlights. And you're not going to touch the shadows part, but you're just going to bring the highlights. And you're going to take the highlight slider and adjust it just a little bit up like right about there and you can exit out of that after this you're going to take your two layers right here so after, if you can deselect these uh, it brings it back to the original image but you're going to have to create a mask so you're going to have to combine these and to combine these you, you select one and you hit shift and select the other one and you're going to come down here to the group layers and to form a group. Now you can title this if you want. I'm not going to title it for now, but then you're going to create a layer mask. Now, after this, you can see this little rough right above the eye right here. So if you add a layer mask right here, you can come over here and add a brush. And I'm going to zoom in even further. It's going to get really pixelated, but I'm going to bring the brush size way down and you sort of round out the edges so it looks more like an eye and you're gonna, you're gonna round out and you can just go through and sort of round out all of these to where it fits you best you're gonna sort of come here or around the eye. The whole goal is to make uh, the mask more round, so if you can, the more round you can get around the eye. But you always can come back and adjust it more. And uh, after this, you can zoom out and see how it turned out. And if it uh, looks good, you should be done. And uh, if it doesn't, you can always go back, edit it a little more. But if it looks good, you can zoom out and uh, see how it turned out. So I chose pink so it would be a little obvious, but uh, so right here, it's looking pretty good. Now, just a tip right here, this only works for 
colored eyes of like blue or green. It does not work for brown, but I am going to have another tutorial soon on how to do it for brown eyes. It's just like one or two more steps. It's not that much more difficult. But uh, if you liked what you saw, make sure you give it a thumbs up and uh, comment what you want me to uh, do a video on and uh, subscribe for more. So uh, thanks.